when building drones and RC airplanes you will need some supplies. You know, to tape, glue and isolate stuff. I'm Paweł Spechalski and here are my top picks in this category. Let's begin with the tapes. And the number one is the absolute classic, the electrical tape. Extremely useful if you want to isolate something. When buying electrical tape you have two options. Option number one is to go with the 3M Scotch Electro or buy personally in the local shop a tape that is a vinyl base. Why it's important? Because a good electrical vinyl tape based will be slightly elastic. Will be slightly elastic and relatively thin and that will just give you a nice experience when wrapping a wire with the electrical tapes. There are tapes out there that are extremely cheap but they are just not working like expected. Here it's really worth to spend slightly more for the good quality. And with good electrical tape you can use it not only to isolate wire Wires, but also attach stuff to different stuff because when wrapped enough of the times around this thing really makes a nice bond between two elements. The second very useful type of the tape is the Kepton tape. You know, the transparent gold looking extremely, and I do mean extremely thin and light tape that is also used to isolate wires. The biggest advantage of the Kepton tape is that it's extremely extremely light so it can be used everywhere when weight is actually important. I'm usually using the Kepton take not to isolate wires unless there is a case that yes the isolation should be very light but I'm wrapping my receivers and other electronic components in it. For example, if I would like to install this small step-down module somewhere in one of my drones or airplanes, I would just solder the wires in and out and then wrap everything with the Kepton tape. It will not be watertight solution, but this thin tape would create really a good insul electrical insulation between this thing and whatever I will decide to glue this thing on. Very useful, nice and efficient. Next are the double-sided tapes and here I have two personal picks. First of them is the 3M VHB4910. It's a thick, transparent, double-sided tape that can be used basically to attach anything to anything as long as both surfaces are really flat and smooth. I'm using this stuff to attach everything that doesn't have a nice way to use screws to install or just the weight is important so I don't want to add any screws. Great example will be the DJI Air Unit. In every single DJI Air Unit I have on any on my drones the Air Unit is attached to the frame exactly with the 3M VHB and guess what? It's not falling off because after some time the bond between this tape and the flat surface is really nice and strong. Also it works very nicely with the Kepton tape. Whatever you wrapped in the Kepton tape then you can attach to whatever you want with the 3M VHB. The next double sided tape is the 3M9088. If the VHB is too thick for you the 9088 is just a way to go because comparing to the VHB it's much 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 thinner, much lighter However, it's not really offering that good of the bond between two elements, but usually is enough to attach some things that, well, are not really expected to uh, experience a lot of forces. Very important with this thing, the surface really has to be flat on both sides because it's so thin, if the surface is not flat, it will just not bond very well. Enough with the tapes, let's go with the glues. And when talking about glues, the glue number one is usually the CA. Here I have a personal rule, I buy whatever there is. Really, some time ago I stopped buying the expensive and good brand CA glues and just go with the generic ones. And guess what? It's working as well as the expensive ones. For example, this relatively big bottle of the thin CA glue costs like, I don't know, 50 cents? 
And really, it's super hard to find any practical difference with something that costs a few bucks a butt. And I'm also almost always buying the thin CA glues because they just last longer. If you buy a thick glue, it would most probably just be too thick to be used only after a few months. If you buy a thin one, half a year, even up to the one year after opening. And you know what goes great with the CA glue? The CA glue accelerator in forms of the spray. When you do not want to or cannot wait as the CA glue bonds, then you can just use the CA glue accelerator. Apply the glue and just spray it on top of the glue. And in, within a second, the CA glue will just be rock solid and will hold like it was bonding for half an hour or so. When talking about the CA glue accelerators, I just buy the generic stuff. Do not look at the brand at all because they all work just fine. At least all the ones I tested. The next very useful glue is the epoxy glue. Here I like the brand of the Hobby King. Whoever buys on Hobby Kings, me, sometime when I want to buy the glue. And this thing can last for years as long as long as from time to time you remember to refresh the glue because it's just get, it's getting super thick and then you cannot really mix this, this thing and apply when it does so just put it into warm water for half an hour and then the glue is just brand new and then whenever you will want to use it just mix the exact amounts of the one and b bottle Mix it, stir it, apply, and it will work just fine. In my opinion, this Hobby King brand is actually a very good epoxy glue. It's cheap, it works, and if you buy two bottles like that, it should last you for like two years. I have those two bottles since like 2018. Yes, okay, I was not really using this thing that much, but I refreshed those bottles like two weeks ago, and they are nicely flowing right now and are ready to use. And if you will want to buy something, well, better of the brand, you probably will have to pay much more than what Hobby King offers you. And finally, something that most probably is one of the most important discoveries of the 20th century. It's a treadlock. Yes, I know. When people say treadlock, they think of the Loctite treadlock. But guess what? The Loctite is not the only one that is making a treadlock. And this super cheap. I really do mean like super cheap, technical, whatever. I think it's a Polish even brand. 100% generic, you just go to the store, get this bottle, which costs like quarter, much actually less than a quarter of the price of the Loctite, use it as the Loctite and it really works just fine. In my opinion, really no need to overpay for Loctite when you can buy something local, generic, made in your country, that most probably is really working just fine. The rule is very simple. Every time a screw goes anywhere on anything that vibrates, and drones usually vibrate, the treadlock has to go with the screw. Because if not, then there is a pretty good chance that well, the screw will unscrew itself, fall off, and you will be in troubles. With the treadlock, it's not really happening. And really, generic brand works as well as the Loctite. Finally, two things that are super useful when insulating something, but are not tapes. And this is A, MG Chemicals Conformal Coating, which is a varnish that you just apply on your electronics if you want to protect your electronics from water or anything else that can be corrosive to the electronics. It has a small brush, just dip it into the conformal coating solution apply on your electronics let it cure for a few minutes and you are go after such a treatment most probably the water or any other liquid fluid whatever that will be in contact with the electronics will do no harm and the best thing about the mg chemical conformal coating is that if you want to solder new or unsolder something you just solder through this thing because the soldering iron will have absolutely no problem of hitting the the solder beneath the conformal coating and it will be almost transparent when you will have to make some kind of the adjustments important this 
is waterproof. This creates a waterproof layer. The next thing I want to show you does not really create a waterproof layer. I mean, this thing is waterproof, but there is no guarantee that the water will not go below this thing. And this is the liquid tape. It's just a black or red, because I have both, goo that you apply on the things you would like to isolate electrically and to some extent also mechanically isolate from each other. And you just put it on your wires, put it on the electronics, put on whatever you are working with, let it cure for like half an hour and a nice rubberized rubberish surface will be created the thing is called the plasti dip and i use it usually on the escs and other things i put on the drones that might get in contact with the water like i said it's not really waterproof it's just protecting and isolating the electrical stuff and when you want to remove it it just peels off from your component absolutely no problem and now for example if you would like to improve your soldering skills here is a video for you i'm paweł spychalski thank you very much for watching and happy flying